Hi folks, today I'm going to be demonstrating a program I've been developing for automatic tracking of objects you see in the sky with a go-to telescope. It provides continuous closed-loop tracking even with older model telescopes like this 8-inch Alex Tinker Classic. Now, normally it's very difficult to track an object you see in the sky with a telescope like this because you're looking at such a tiny portion of the sky at any given time. For example, most of the time when looking through this telescope, you're dealing with magnifications that are so high that you can barely fit the full moon in the entire field of view of the eyepiece or camera that you're using. So even if you try to track using, say, a viewfinder mounted on the side of the telescope and just move the telescope by hand, you're going to find that you're dealing with such high magnification that even if you manage to get the object in the field of view, it's going to look like shaky cam footage. So we need a solution that allows us to automatically track objects if we want high quality footage, whether it be of rocket launch or a satellite going overhead, or maybe some sort of UFO that's up there. So how do we do this? Well, there's a camera on top of the telescope that is just a, basically a standard security camera, and it has a standard security camera lens attached to it, a 5 to 50 millimeter lens. This is a much wider field of view than you would get even from a, what we would call a wide field telescope, a short tube refractor. It allows us to see a large portion of the sky at once and easily acquire uh, objects that we see in the sky. It's mounted to the telescope using a standard ADM dovetail plate uh, and this threads directly into the camera and with the software we can actually specify, we don't need guide scope rings because we have such a wide field of view here and we can specify in, in the software that when the telescope is pointed at a distant object, that that will be the center point in this camera. You can tell the software that's the center point, drive objects, objects to that location to make sure they get into the main camera of the main telescope. And so, uh, once that's done, you can start tracking objects. You can move the telescope using a standard joystick and throttle and, uh, until you find the object and then click on it. That's all there is to it. Just click on the object and it will begin tracking it automatically. When the throttle of your joystick is pulled all the way down, it will stop the telescope and prevent it from moving, both in terms of manual tracking and automatic tracking. So if you see the telescope starting to move in a direction you don't like, if it's starting to get too close to the sun, or if it's starting to tangle one of its cords, you can stop it immediately just by pulling the throttle all the way down. As soon as I release the throttle, it's going to start looking for my flashlight here and tracking it. It'll track it up to the full, uh, the uh, maximum slew speed, if it loses sight of the object at any time, it will tra continue tracking in the last known direction until it reacquires the object and, re and locks back onto it. So I'm going to go ahead and release the throttle now and start moving around. Uh, let me redesignate my flashlight here. And it will follow it around as I move it. So that's how that works. Um, I'm going to be doing more demonstrations uh, in the field uh, shortly and uh, hopefully be tracking more rocket launches with this program as well as uh, starting to track some satellites with it. So stay, stay tuned. Uh, I'll be posting more videos about this program and I do intend to publicly release it so that everyone can get to use it and uh, track whatever they happen to see in their skies as well. Have a nice day.